What up, what's going on? It is Josh Hubby. I hope you are doing fantastic. Hey, thanks for checking out these life lifters. It's time for another life lifter coming right at you. Obviously, the drop back's a little bit different. I took a personal day today. Today's just a me day. I went out to Carlsbad to the beach. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to read some books. I'm going to relax. I'm going to, I'm probably going to take a nap. I'll probably jump in the water and, uh, and just, just have a day for me to grow and, and to learn. And, uh, and to just soak in some knowledge in some of these books I'm reading. Um, every now and then you got to do that just to recharge the batteries and, and uh, experience kind of the joys of life. So, hey, I've got something great for you today. I've got something great for you. I want to ask you. I want to ask you a question. Are you content right now? Are you content? Are you happy with the status quo? Are you happy where you're at right now? Maybe you saw some results, some success in a little bit of weight loss or some success in business. Or, or, you, or you, you knocked down this goal or that goal. Are you content? Or are you staying hungry? Are you staying thirsty? Are you staying hungry and thirsty and motivated to attack the next goal and to get to that next level in, in, in life and in growing and learning more and accomplishing what you want to? They say, I read this the other day, they say that an alligator is at its most vulnerable and worst point right after it's eaten. Right after it saw some success, right after it made happen what it was looking for, right after it ate, right after it's full, Right after it met some expectations, that's at its weakest, worst point where it can be defeated or taken over or killed. An alligator is at its worst point. Sometimes that's us too when we, when we go, you know, hey, I accomplished that. That's good enough. I lost those five pounds. That's good enough. I'm content now. I'm content. I can, I can ease my foot off the pedal and not be hungry and thirsty and attacking it every single day. So here's what I got for you. I got a challenge for you. I got a challenge for you. I've been researching this number 21. And there's, and there's kind of some research that's suggesting that if you can create a habit for 21 days in a row, 21 days in a row, it starts connecting neurons in your brain that make it almost automatic and second nature. So here's the challenge for you. For 21 days in a row, I want you to pick something or two or three things that you're going to either eliminate or add to your day. And it can be something basic. It can be for the next 21 days, I'm going to wake up and eat something healthy every single day, a healthy breakfast. Because some of us don't eat breakfast every day. For 21 days straight, I'm going to study for an extra hour to make sure I get the grades I'm looking for. Or I'm going to study for an extra hour to make sure I pass that class. Or I'm going to stay up and read so that I can know everything I can in my trade or my service industry. Or I'm going to go for a walk every single day for the next 21 days. So pick something. I want you to pick something right now that you're either going to eliminate or that you're going to that you're going to implement for the next 21 days straight. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to give you mine. Mine right now. I love ice cream. For the next 21 days, I'm going ice cream free. No ice cream whatsoever for the next 21 days. People that know me know I probably I probably get after it probably once a week. I love ice cream. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to eliminate ice cream for the next 21 days and try and create that habit of not being, being consistent on ice cream. And I'm going to make sure I get five minutes of something inspirational, reading something inspirational before bed every night for the next 21 nights. Those are my two things. What are yours? What are you choosing? Man, there's power in consistency. There's power in consistency. Some of us are people that start and stop. And start and stop and start and stop and start and stop in everything we do in life. And we wonder why we don't get any traction. We wonder why we don't see the results we're looking for in the areas of life that we're striving to get results in. It's because we start and stop and start and stop. For two days, we're good. For two days, we're bad. For one week, we're good. For one week, we're bad. We got to get plugged in. So for the next 21 days, pick a couple things you're either going to eliminate or add. And I guarantee you, you'll see the power of 21 on this 21 day challenge. You'll see the power of consistency, the power of practice, the power of perseverance. When you stick with something and the goal is after these 21 days, it becomes automatic. It becomes automatic for you. So pick something that's going to challenge you and, you know, stay after it, stay hungry, stay thirsty, make, you know, make the most of every single day, continue to impact people around you. We'll see you guys next week for another Life Lifter. Make today great.